Hey guys, I'm going to be sharing with you three dinners that you can make from the Dollar Tree that don't suck. Alright, here's everything that I got from Dollar Tree. Obviously it's not a lot, but they actually have some pretty cool stuff here. So let me show you. I found some Velveeta cheese sauce. They have this, or they have the jalapeno one. So I picked this up. We're gonna make. We're gonna, we have some tuna. We have five packets of ramen. We have some taco shells. Two pounds of rice. Back here we have some nacho cheese sauce. They had some white cheese sauce, which I've never seen before. We got some rotels. Which obviously it's going to be more expensive at the Dollar Tree. Usually I buy an off brand, but I'm just working with stuff that I found at the Dollar Tree. Um, we have, a, is this one pound? Yeah, this is just one pound of pinto beans, tortillas. We have some broccoli and we have some corn tortillas. And so all of this, we're going to make three different dinners out of it. Let's get started, y'all. So for our first dinner, we are going to start off by, I'm going to cook up all of these pinto beans in my Instant Pot. So that's just one pound. I may as well just cook them all up because I'm going to be using them for two different dinners here. I think four cups of water should be suffice. I don't know why it wouldn't, but we're going to go ahead and start with that. I'm just going to add in some random seasonings, um, mainly like a taco seasoning type of a blend. So I have some cumin here that I'm going to add in. And then I will probably add in probably about a, I don't know, half a tablespoon of chili powder just to give it a really good flavor. Well, that's all I had. Good night. All right. Need to put more seasonings in. And um, normally I would put in chicken broth, but I have some bouillon in my pantry, so I'm going to use up some of this bouillon. That's just going to give it a really good flavor. I definitely encourage you guys to get some bouillon. Um, I normally like to have chicken broth, but um, having the chicken bouillon has saved me um, so much, and it just adds so much wonderful flavor. I'm also going to be adding in about a teaspoon of garlic powder. Woo, that came out fast. And then about a teaspoon of onion powder as well. There we go. And then I'm going to let this cook for about 35 minutes. And then we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to put it on pressure cook for 35 minutes. And we'll check back on it after it's done cooking. All right, let's check on our beans. Hopefully they're good. Oh, they look good. Perfect. Falling apart, they gotta be good. Well, some are good, and some are not. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna put it in for five more minutes. Now that my rice is almost done, I'm going to go ahead and get these taco shells in the oven. I'm going to bake these at 350 for about five minutes, about three to five minutes, just until they're nice and crispy. And then we will enjoy our nice um, tacos here. Okay, I wanted to show you these taco shells out of the package. These look pretty nice. They're not crumbly or anything like that. Um, they're wide enough that they're really good. I mean, they look better than what I would get at uh, uh, Aldi's. So, so far, they're looking pretty good. All right, second go around. Let's see how they're doing. Yeah, that's definitely much better. Okay. All right, I'm just going to mash them up just a little bit. Just kind of thicken them up a bit. All right. 
Here's the final product. Looking good, looking good. Take them out of here and put them in this bowl because I need to make some rice. All right, I'm just gonna plop them in here. Okay. Don't be retarded like me. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and add in, I'm not gonna add in all of this, I'll probably add in about two cups of this rice. Okay, here's one cup. cups. Okay, I'm also going to add in three cups of water. And then just like before, I'm going to add in some bouillon um, just to give it some flavor. Usually I just kind of rub my finger in it, stir it. And then here we go. And the, oh, this I'll put on rice function, so it'll go for about 12 minutes. Okay, so the last thing that we're gonna do for this meal, I'm gonna just heat up this nacho cheese sauce, and then we're gonna put it on our tacos instead of putting like regular cheese. So hopefully it's good, I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna try it and see how it is. Here is my taco. Honestly, it looks like something I would get a taco bell, but I have the rice on the bottom, and then I have those beans that I made, and that nacho cheese sauce that I put on top. So, let's give it a go. Okay, let's give it a go. Aww. That is real. That is actually really good. That is super good. All right, y'all. For this dinner, we're going to be using some ramen. We're going to be using some cheese sauce. And some tuna to add some protein. So all this together is actually going to be um, right under 60 grams of protein for all of us. So if we divide that five or I guess six ways, I think this is going to come out to be about five servings, but... If we divide it out six ways, that's almost 10 grams of serving or 10 grams of protein per serving. So before y'all hit me up on <laughs> what it looks like, there actually is quite a bit of protein in this meal. So um, I'm gonna get started on cooking my ramen. Um, okay, guys. I was originally gonna start with just three ramen noodles, but I'm kind of thinking four. There is five of us that are gonna eat, I believe. Just because me and my kids have somewhere to go before my husband gets home. So I think this is just going to be for me and the kids. So I think four should be good. I know that sounds like a lot, but my kids can eat a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay guys, I think this is good and ready. It's been cooking about, I don't know, seven minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain off most of this water. I'm gonna save just a little bit of this pasta water. Okay, so I'm saving just a little bit there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put all that back. Now we're going to go ahead and add in our cheese, and I'm hoping that this is enough cheese. If not, I'm in a world of hurt. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and add in, oh yeah, nice and cheesy. I mean, who doesn't like cheese, honestly? I mean, this is not going to be the most healthiest cheese ever, but it's going to be delicious. Okay. 
All right, and then I'm also going to add in my one can of tuna. Believe it or not, this one can has like 30 grams of protein. I was so surprised. I had no idea. I mean, I knew like tuna had a lot of protein, but for that little tiny can, that impresses me much. All right, here we go. So, like the hamburger helper, they have like these tuna helper ones, and I kind of thought it was this would be kind of similar to that. But there's this. And then I'm also going to add in one packet of this chicken because I think it's going to add a little bit of flavor to it. And I think it'll be good that way. So I'm just going to add in one instead of the four that it gave me. So there we go. This looks so good. I think I'm going to add some parsley on top just to give it a little bit of some seasoning, some flavor to it. Ugh, come on now. Come on, work with me. There we go. That looks good. There. All right, this looks amazing. You guys, let's try this out. Bubba Boo, how is it? I like it. It's hot. It's hot? <laughs> what do you think? Mm -mm. Pretty good? Mm-hmm. What do you think, Jojo? Uh, Pretty good? Really, it's so good. It's so good. And, darling? You like it? It's so good that it tastes like ramen noodles. <laughs> yeah. It's Just cheesy like though, it. huh? Let's see here. Okay, so I have quite a bit of leftovers from the tacos that we made. So I have tons of beans here. I have tons of rice. And I, I didn't even use half the package here. I did use the full package of beans. But I am just going to make some enchiladas. So I have my flour tortillas. And I'm going to make, I'm not sure how many I'm going to make, but let's see here. Just going to kind of wing it. I have some cheese sauce that I plan on putting on top. And then I have some rotels I'm actually going to put in it as well. So I'm going to drain off the juice from my rotels. I'm going to layer all of my tortillas. I'm going to put some rice, a little bit of beans, just a little bit of rotels in here. I didn't really put this in the beginning of the video, but I did grab some. This is how many ounces? This is six ounces that you can grab from Dollar Tree for $1.25. So that's... Not actually that bad of a price, I feel like. And I'm just going to put just a little bit of cheese in there. But we'll put some on top. Give my pan a good spray. And then... Just kind of roll these up and we're going to put them in there like so. And so, ah, that's what I'm going to do to all of these here. Just put rice, beans, and then a little bit of rotel, and then my cheese. Roll it up without like getting it everywhere. And then we'll just put it in there. All right. So let me layer these up and I'll get and I'll be right back. Okay, I didn't use all of my rotels. I don't know if you can kind of see that, but I got about a quarter of a cup left. 
I don't really feel like I made a dent in my beans. Um, yeah, so I have tons of beans left over, which is great because in my original video, I posted that I had some corn tortillas, which I do have corn tortillas, but I don't really know if I'm going to be making anything with it, but I could, an idea would just be to kind of do like those, um, I guess they're called tostadas that I've been making. That would be really good. Just fry the corn tortillas with the beans or even with the rice as well. That would be really good. Or you can have the rice on the side with your tostadas. That would be another dinner option. Okay, I still have six tortillas left, so I could even make um, quesadillas one day with this stuff, with the rice and the beans. So this is definitely enough food for a whole week. Um, so, and I could probably even make like enchiladas again. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use all this sauce. So let's see if I could do this meal again for my family. Because I only made six here because it's just me and my kids. So, um, we'll see here. We'll definitely see. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Let's put this white sauce on top. I don't know how much we're going to need. looks good. I think I will go ahead and pretty much use the whole thing. Um, well, that's about all I need. I still have about a quarter of a cup left on that. And then I have some cheese still, so I'll just sprinkle some of that on top. this in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes and we'll check back here all right here's what it looks like I think it could use some more cheese sauce on the sides looks like it kind of dried up a little bit but right. I guess we'll start over here look at that yummy that looks that looks really really good for Dollar Tree y'all this looks great Baba have you tried it yet is it yummy yeah cheese you ate the cheese mm -hmm. <laughs> okay how is it son mm -mm. you really like Best. it good good deal all right, Georgina. Um, it's really good. That I love it so much. <laughs> okay. <laughs>